welcome back in tech learning and our another video and in this video we are going to set up our next gen game okay and we are also going to do some update and we are going to create the lobby system or menu system so last video uh, and i just do some work and here once they attack the zombie will be get damage and automatically and then if i can save so basically it will die automatically okay and yeah that is the stuff and then now i want to be, uh, make a back you know back stuff and this stuff so for create that let's make a lobby map or main menu map so lobby so instead of that lobby what i'm going to do i'm not going to do uh, something else i'm going to just remake this scene but for in a lobby so simply uh duplicate and rename it to lobby and double click and open okay instead of our lobby i'm going to remove all the zombie uh from the map so zombie one zombie two and all of the spawner so what to create to spawn the stuff and maybe in the begin play there's some code available yep so in the event begin play there's a timer to fall the stuff so i'm going to remove that too so this is this is basically our lobby in the lobby we need a lobby character so we can basically get the control so lobby cam okay so this will be our lobby cam <clears throat> and i'm going to set up a player start location for this map so for like from this location the player will be spawned and the game settings okay or in the game mode i'm going to create a game mode for this one uh that is the lobby game mode uh this is the basically default and the camera so we can give a look what's basically going on and now if i click on the play i'm able to give a look that okay what's this looking like okay now quite a bit good so last i need a, a vfx so rain i'm going to search rain vfx yep this one so it will give me a super realistic type vibe okay as you can see and then i'm going to create the lobby stuff at here the like a play button and other stuff so yeah let's know. let's make that the first uh i need now a ui so our player or user able to click on that so ui and i'm going to click uh, call it ui menu menu uh and instead of that menu i'm going to add a canvas panel and instead of this canvas panel i'm going to add the button the button should be the glow but also in some alpha blend so it will be look nice we can make some crazy stuff like with the button a uh, purple uh, like that but i'm going to use this uh some blue effect and this will be for the play so let's set it to play and instead of that play i'm going to make it something like that i set it to the right corner and now in the begin play we'll be basically simply create widget and menu widget add to viewport compile save now if i click on play here's basically it will be look like yeah it's good so now i need to just give it some more down so this will be the play button and let's drag and drop at here compile save okay play and here on the mode section will be give a one more output call more and whenever the user press more it will visit our youtube channel and box for another stuff okay so the x i take c last one is for game exit and i will that's smaller and uh, so we'll save yeah 
now what is basically looking like play more and exit so now what i'm going to do is whenever we play press so it will be basically open to our map so on the click open label by reference and it will be basically open our lv what is the map name uh map one and then whenever i press more it should be launch url so i can search url i can search my you know developer account like asteroid developer and even i can go my blogspot and website and i can go to our about page even i can give it here the main page just copy this url and then the last for the exit that is pretty much easy this is a uh, in function like you need to search simply quick game and there there you go you are able to quick now the game and uh, then last i'm going to add the some stuff at here uh play more exit okay so last what i need to do is i need to also set it as a package so at the maps and modes i'm going to choose this uh lobby lobby and by default i'm going to choose the game mode base and then in the lobby i need to now fill the lights okay then once i get the bake light data i need to add that to our packaging section so it's very important otherwise it will be show us error so we need that too so now it's baking the light so we can only wait we can't do anything else so just keep wait and wait okay the light bake has been done now we'll simply click on save so we'll be find the light bake data we can go to package and then at our packaging just scroll down and here just double click two more and the lobby on map and the lobby ability data on asset okay let's go now if i click on play it will basically switch in a chair and then i can able to kill that okay that is the thing and i'm going to now also add some more points so basically it will be give me a uh, but by default i also always want to spawn from here that is the thing so yeah that is quite enough good and that's all in this video and see you in next tutorial video